What's up YouTube? Well Rusted Piper here and today I thought that I would uh, make a little video where I showed you the four main pipes that I use. Um, I'll, I'll start off by showing you uh, the first one that I got uh, for my 27th birthday this year which was for my mom and it's just a Missouri Meerschaum uh, bent cob with a filter and you can see that um, as I was learning there was definitely some bull charring there uh, and I, I assume that's probably typical for most new smokers when trying to learn how to light and pack and do all that stuff. Minor damage, so it's not a big deal since it was a cob. Second was a pipe that my wife got me for my 27th birthday, uh, and it is a Big Ben um, billiard, I think. And it's got a real nice grain. It's really pretty. Um... But it's a little bit small, even compared to like <clears throat> my corn cob. And it makes it a little more difficult to smoke without damaging, which concerns me. So I don't uh, use it as often as I do some of my other pipes. As you can see, there is just a little bit of charring on the top of the rim there. And until I get better at uh, lighting uh, I probably won't use this one too often because it's so small and I don't want to really ruin it. The second I got from a bag of seven day seconds from Missouri Meerschaum and I believe it's an Apple Diplomat which um, I'm a huge fan of this shape. I just fell in love with it as soon as uh, I held it in my hand and uh, it's just been great. I haven't really gotten to put much through it. I've been mostly smoking Dunhill Elizabethan out of this pipe. And my last pipe that I use frequently is uh, a Savinelli Roma series that I found at my local tobacconist. And uh, I found it for about $45. It's a nice rusticated pipe. Uh, not really any cake built in there yet. I've only had this pipe for a few weeks and I haven't really gotten to smoke much out of it. Maybe uh, four or five bowls. And with this, I actually picked up uh, some Haunted Bookshop, which has been the only thing that I've smoked in this pipe. Um, and I've got to say that I actually really like that blend. It's been quite enjoyable for me. Um, but those are the four main pipes that I use the most. Uh, I mean, I have obviously other cobs. Uh, you can't really see them right now, but they're just in the back of my kitchen on a small rack. And they will get use over time. But these are the four that I have used and use all the time. Really, since I picked up the Savinelli Roma, I've been using that the most. I really like the way it feels. When the tobacconist put it in my hand, I just knew that I had to buy that pipe. And I brought it home and I've really enjoyed it since then. Um, I also have a whole collection of estate pipes from my great uh, grandfather and my grandfather, both. Um, they are in my room and they all need restored. And I don't know if I'm going to try and do that myself or send them off to be restored professionally. I haven't decided yet. I don't think I really want to risk ruining them. Uh, so I'll probably send them out to get taken care of. But I have probably about... 13 or 14 pipes that are in the room there that aren't uh, in smokable condition right now just from disuse. I, I think m the most recently any of those were smoked were in the mid-1970s. So they definitely need some attention before they're smoked. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share with you the four pipes that I use uh, You know, the most frequently. I will have a smoking video soon I hope the weather has not been real cooperative and I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna be able to film outside because I need to get just a slightly bigger tripod since I don't have a table out on the deck where I sit so hopefully a video outside where we're actually smoking and talking will come up soon uh, maybe as soon as tomorrow it all just depends on what I can find when I go shopping later today um, really uh, that will probably be the first and only smoking video for probably at least 
a week and a half to two weeks on Monday I'm getting a tooth removed at the dentist that's been bothering me for a while so at that point I won't really be able to smoke until it heals simply so I don't give myself a dry socket which is really painful uh, but otherwise I want to wish you uh, all happy piping and have a good weekend and uh, hope to talk to you again soon bye bye